Hello people, I believe we are recording. <clears throat> yes we are. I'm a little bit um, crunching my voice today. And why am I recording my desktop? Am I going to be doing another tutorial video? No I am not. I am actually going to be playing a few Flash games today. Here I got my YouTube. Uh, but let's uh, go to Newgrounds.com The old epicenter of gaming. Oh, riddle transfer. That shit's out. Is it in the movie section? Hang on. I just, I just have to check if this... Uh... No, it's a point-and-click adventure game. Okay, we're going to be checking out some old-school uh, Flash games. Uh, we're going to start with, with one of the ones I actually recall playing. And we're going to be talking about Flash game quality, how it changed over the years. Um... I'm gonna pause and find that game actually because uh, I don't remember where it was I'll be right back alright we're recording still? yeah we are okay here we are on one of my old sites this is my one of my favorite sites uh, here this is antcon.com as you can see from top left here this is the uh, click escape category and there are so many point and click games and I have played more or less all of these I remember that game was boring as all shit but this was like this was the era when covered front and submachine was the shit like automaton made its made its debut it, it never really expanded into much I think they made a second game on that but then it just sort of di died off uh, Ice Escape, I remember that one. That was a hardcore uh, uh, click escape game. One of the many. Uh, it was on time with the Visitor. Uh, they didn't have the newest of games. They, they had a lot of the newer ones, but... Um, the thing was, they had most uh, point click adventure games, but they didn't have all of them. But as you can see, they had Riddle School 2. Um, I, I believe they have the original Riddle School here somewhere. Magneto Syndrome. I remember that game is virtually impossible. I mean, it requires a way of thinking that I just simply can't comprehend, so I can't finish that game. I never did. Uh, Box of Tricks, that's a neat game. It's just a little... You're just, excuse me, you just click. And there's Magneto Syndrome too. Uh, the first game I actually did get some distance into, but then I stalled. Same with it, but on this one I got stuck on the first screen, more or less. Um, escape for 10 seconds. Yeah, that, those things are brutal. You get 10 seconds to escape the room. Um, railway to Heaven. Oh, that one's so mean. You have roughly a minute to uh, escape the cage. And if you don't, you get run over by the train. Uh, but yeah, Riddle School. They don't have the original Riddle School, it seems. But they have the original Submachine. Now, for one of the first games I want to take a look at is Crimson Room. Okay. 2004. Toshimitsu Takanagi. That's right. Japanese. Oh crap, I'll be right back. I need more coffee. Alright, I'm back. I got my coffee. Roughly half a liter. I'm shut up. <laughs> no, I'm locked in. Alright, as you can see, this is one of the earlier games, and even though it's an earlier, you'd think it'd be like a flash drawing, but it really isn't. It's a 3D environment sort of deal. Okay, now this is another thing I remember about this game. Uh, thin Ring was got. Whenever you do something, that sound is made. And I remember that terrified me so much. And this game had like a shitload. A sta it's a stale CD player. Alright, there's no strange thing. No strange thing. As you can see, this is written by somebody with. Uh, the script of this is written by somebody with uh, limited English vocabulary. Uh, limited English vocabulary. Um, not terrible, I must say. The knob does not turn. That, that one's actually pretty good. But then you end up with. It is locked. It is locked. It is a stale CD player. There's no strange thing. 
That is the most annoying thing. That's what I remember most. Uh, we will do that. And then we'll do that. Power cord was connected. Puzzle box. The lid does not open. This thing had a puzzle to it. Okay, um... Oh no, no, oh thank god. I forgot that... Oh yeah, the, 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 that sound is like, it gets me every... Oh crap. Uh, wait, are you kidding me? Crap. Uh, I have completely forgotten how to play this particular game. There was something about this wall, I remember that. There was something you could do with this. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, by the way, here's an actual link to the history of this game, like how it was made and when it was made, where it was made. Um. Yeah, I didn't understand what this meant when I first read this because I, I could barely read English. Um. Uh, but still, it was like... This is pretty cool, but enough about that. I'm not going to try to solve a lot of these games, because I have already solved them ages ago. Here is a game that I thought was silly, but fucking adorable, and here is Journey of Remus. I love that game. It's so fucking cute. It's it's quite difficult as well. Oh, here we go. I started. It's on the song too, by the way. Sift heads. Not stift heads. I remember that shit. Uh, it was oh chasm. That's a difficult game. Let's take a look at that. Uh, we're gonna be taking a look at a lot of games today. Uh, we're only been going for like six minutes so far, so it's fine. Now this game. Now this is not related to my me being a brony. This is actually because I was like, oh, this has got to be so silly. This has got to be so stupid. Uh, but it's actually not. I mean, it's cutesy. I will say that. And it's. Compared to a lot of uh, click escape games where you're trapped and you don't know where you are and you have no idea what's going on, you're like, ah, oh, it's stressed and stressed. And this is very laid back. This is a very relaxed game. Like, you can tell by the music. It's very relaxed. It, this is important, by the way. Hello. No, but this is a very relaxed, um... Ah! Uh, it's a very relaxed and laid-back game, that's for sure. It uses a lot of the, uh, sounds. I, I do believe it's made by... Yeah, it's created by Pastel Games. So it uses a lot of their assets, which is where the sounds come from. And I do believe that's what, uh, Pastel Games... It sounds so bad when you do that. It sounds like you're torturing the cats. Alright, instructions. Um, yeah, this seems pretty mysterious. But this is obviously some chunk of stone. This is an M, but it's also a... If you look here. It directly corresponds to that. First you go to high, medium, then high, and then uh, zero, and you get that. Or whatever. Um, essentially... This is very much a puzzle game. Oh. Chickens are not interested in you. It's like four. <laughs> there you go. I've got everything there. And like cutesy doves. Oh wait, uh, that one's supposed to be up. Now oh, we got three horseshoes. Okay. I do believe. Exactly how to do this. Oh, here it is. First medium, then low, then high, then low. Okay, first medium, then low, then high, then low. Turn it off. I do not know how that makes any sense at all. 
Uh, I know it doesn't. I mean, all it would do would turn it pitch black. Okay. Medium, low, high, low. But I do believe this is also made as an experiment for some from, for some of the past few games. I don't remember though. I don't remember why this game was made. But it's a cute game. It's really fucking cute. Really relaxed. Alright, um, uh, now we will go back to that door and we will add these horseshoes and see if we can add them to the No, I do that. No! That costs a meteor shower. And would you look at that? A strange meteor. Let's go back into the forge and... Oh, do I remember? Do I remember? Do I remember? Yes, I do! Oh, <laughs> you have to use the tongs. You can't just grab a meteor with your bare hand. And we can't use an apple to forge things. Bonk. Magical stone. Okay, now, what do you do with a large hunk of rock that's magical? You, of course, put it in some horse's water. Then the horse drinks it and turns to you. Of course! Here, have a carrot. Nom nom nom. Do you like apples? No, you don't. You like red apples? Fuck no. Um. Okay. Now, the problem here is we're still locked in. The fuck did that do, you may ask? Uh. I don't have to remember. No, that has no effect. Um, sometimes these game horses like I don't like apples. Fuck you. I think you're supposed to feed the, horse the apples beforehand, and I kind of screwed myself over by not doing that. Oh well, enough about that. Uh, we spent like oh god, we spent six minutes on that. God no. Okay, let's take a look at Chasm. I'm gonna have to edit a bit of that out. This game is also another very laid-back game because of the music mainly. But the theme is, I think, pretty strong. It's got a nice intro. This is Joe Castleton's Castleton's loading activist. Uh, a dynamo of productivity, a real shaker and a mover, a get things done kind of guy. Yes, as obviously seen by his heavy snores. Ah, the sarcasm. It's about. 11 a.m. and Joe is yet to even open an eye. Still around here, there's a lot to get up for. You can sleep in all day and not really miss out on anything. There's not a lot to get up for. This is where Joe lives, Cassington. It's about as far from anywhere as you can possibly get eight houses. As you can possibly get eight houses, a couple of fruit trees, and a pub. It's like. The story is based around the artwork. This is like... There's no story written beforehand. There was like an idea that this is going to be included. And then it was like, this is the story because this is the artwork I could come up with because I can't be arsed. Uh, that's how it feels at least. But I love it. I absolutely adore it. And of course, the chasm. Uh, chasm then needs the chasm for its survival. All the town's water is piped down from a dam way back in the depths of the chasm. Yeah, it's obviously seen by the... By the hole straight through it. Logically, they need water to grow. Fair enough. Happened to the pipes somewhere up in the gorge, maybe rockfall, and water isn't flowing to chasm. The no water, the crops will die! Yeah, that's kind of cool. You can actually go back and forth in the dialogue. Don't. Uh, no electricity. Ron. No electricity means no television and no fridges. It looks like the people of Castleton will be missing the grand, fi grand final and drinking. Grand final and drinking warm beer. It was held for all the townsfolk. Joe missed it sleeping off a big night. A vote was taken to decide which one of them should. 
I have to make the perilous journey up to the chasm to restore this panel's water supply. And who else but Joe? The good old sleepyhead. Joe should be that one. Oh, hello, Mr. Grumpy Old Platypus. And yes, they are actually platypi, pl platypi I guess. Uh, meantime, the rest of the townsfolk would do their utmost to see that the town's beer supplies were consumed before they got too warm. A dangerous place up there in the chasm, and if he's not careful, Joe may be hurt or even killed. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we're gonna get to a much higher quality game. I just want to show you a few of the games that I remember playing as a kid. Ow, my ear! That hurt. Okay. Now you may think that. Oh, another cutscene. Nope. That's how this game works. These perspectives are fucking awesome. He just barely made it. <coughs> There's a lot of watching in this game. I'm not gonna play through this game because it's actually fairly lengthy. Uh, because of the um, lack of ways of uh, skipping all the animations. There's actually, it's actually a fairly long game. And yeah, yeah, you have to go in there. You have to climb up here. You have to... Yeah, this is a point of click adventure, as you can obviously see. And yeah, you have to do this. You have to redirect the water to Kazington. Somebody voice acted all this shit. I love it. I absolutely, I, I love the bits. Okay. Now that we've opened that, we can go down here and can continue. This this game is... Oh yeah, you'll flood that corridor to send the water that way instead. Uh, I think... Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna be finishing this game. This is a long game, as you can see. There's a lot of puzzles involved here, and it's like... <sighs> yeah. The game itself, once you're about... Once you got the water flowing where you want it, you're only halfway done. Then you have to find a way to redirect it to Chasm Ton, which is a pain in the ass. Uh, I don't remember how to play this game. It's been too long. Um... And as you can see, we're already running nearly 20 minutes here, and... Yeah. I want to check out so many games, but I'm going to have to do a whole series on this. Today, I'm just going to check out the really old stuff. Like, this is the stuff I started with. Um, Chasm, Crimson Room... What else did we play? We played something else, whatever the fuck it was. Uh, the Escape series. I remember that. Um... The submachine series. I only finished like two or three submachine games. They're so fucking difficult. I never finished a third game. Never. It's a lot of these. A lot of the submachine games are designed to be as difficult as you can possibly get. There's just no way to figure them out without a tutorial. Uh, the ones I have complete, I completed with a uh, walkthrough available. So. <laughs> Not saying I'm amazing. By the way, these Grow games are fucking hilarious in how difficult they are. And this is kind of interesting. They uploaded Riddle School 2, two before they had Riddle School, Riddle School 1 in their library. I, I always find that kind of hilarious. Uh, I was thinking we were going to take a look at one more game here before we go over and go to play... Um, we're going to play through a game in this uh, in this video, by the way. All the way through a game... Uh, I know which one I'm going to be playing through. It's called Morning Star. It's an old, old, old fucking game. I think it's from like 2005. And it's a Flash game that is so stupidly high quality compared to a lot of other uh, Flash games. Oh, uh, Alchemy is pretty cool too. You've probably seen something like this on like your iPad. I'm just going to show you this real quick, because I found a game on the iPad that looks a lot like this. Except this came first. <laughs> I played this when I was... Yeah. This is an old-ass game. Yeah, this, it's a long-ass intro sequence. 
It's free online. You can check it out on ancon.com. Reincarnation. Oh, they're so gorgeous. But we're going to play... Okay, that was just a little show. Journey of Remus. That was the one I was going to show you here. Uh, Journey of Remus. Or maybe some tipping point. Yeah, the tipping points. Those are some... That's, got, that's, that's some dark games, man. The atmosphere alone made me just want to cringe when I was a kid. <coughs> More coffee. More coffee to the people. But first we take a look at Journey of Remus. There's so many inside jokes here. I have no idea what to just change the aspect here. There we go. Now we can fit the entire game on screen. Uh, Z-Barf presents the Several Journeys of Remus, Chapter 1. Well, Journey. This is Remus, by the way. Dialogue in these games. There's the dialogue, but it's mostly just puns anyway. Oh, no, oh, there goes Remus. Fuck that shit. Okay. Remus is a big lot of money. Ooh, not it. Very, very imaginative. I love the Journey of Remus series. So, but now that we're done with that, we're gonna go. As you can see, I have my. There's my email, by the way, for anyone that wants to send me a message. But this is my old Newgrounds account. This is from like 2006, maybe. I haven't used it. I, I use this on occasion because you know there's there's good games on here and cool animations. Yu Gi No, for example. I don't. I've never watched that. <laughs> But there's some really funny, weird animations on Newgrounds. Everybody that's been here knows that. Okay, but let's go and get... Oh, well. 
Red Herring Labs made this game, which is called Morningstar, and was originally hosted on Bubblebox and Newgrounds. Yeah, this is the right game. I remember the cursor. Uh, this game is surprisingly high production quality. Hmm. Crap! Oh, I'll be back once it starts. Oh my god, would you... Oh. Alright, let's try this again. It won't let me see, see the intro. Maybe it doesn't work with the new Adobe Flash Player. Oh, darn. That is so fucking annoying. Settings. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, God, what is going on here? What the fuck? Okay. Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna have to skip that. I would have loved to show you the intro scene. No, are you kidding me? This version's broken! I'll be back when I find a functioning version. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Okay, it's on Armor Games and Congregate, but... This game is on fucking Steam! For $9.99! When was this added? February 2015, but it was not added then on... On uh, Newgrounds, I know that. 2009... And... 2009. This was a game that came out in 2009. We'll check out Mornings. We'll, we'll check out Congregate first, because. Oh, fuck, they're both playing. We'll take Congregate. He's playing. Okay. Can I get rid of the chat? Crap. Damn. Thank you for doing this. <laughs> and yeah, this is a flash game. It's a very high production quality, actually. I love it. I played through this game more times than I can count, simply so that I can, uh, even though you can't rewatch watch the intro and outro screen, I played through it more times than I can count simply to justify watching them again. Yeah, that's right. Normally, I'm not that devoted to any game, but this pretty cool. Like, really cool. I love this game. It's got some really good voice acting. Well, <laughs> considering it's Flash Kid. Created by Red Herring Labs. You know, open a new tab, check that out. Oh god! Slow, slow frame. Morning Star. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, start a new game. Oh, are you kidding me? Damn it! That's why I love this game! The fucking voice acting is awesome! God damn it. I guess since it was put on Steam like last year, it's been. Everybody's had to re upload a different version. Or just kill the sound of the. Fuck. Fuck! <sighs> Played Morningstar. Yeah, okay, great. What's their games? Uh, they have a they have a fucking web page, fucking website. Oh God! Are you kidding me? Morningstar Descent to Dead Rock. Are you kidding me? Did they like?
Are you kidding me? Did they expand the game? Okay, this is just Morningstar. So I don't know, maybe this is just a short version of the game. But as you can see, this was uploaded in 2009, and the one on Steam was uploaded in 2015. So obviously this was our first. Um, but I'm gonna try and get a hold of this game, because I'm not playing this game without sound. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I found a voiced version on Armor Games. The one on Armor Games is voiced. So we'll bring this up in this, the large screen. Uh, watch this. And then we'll get playing. I Apparently the version of Steam is a remastered version of this with an extended storyline and more more everything. So I guess you could call this a beta version. Uh, we'll skip the intros as you've already seen that. Create a new game. No active pal, no active pal, come in. Can any of you hear me? This is pal. I think it double clicked and skipped the dialogue. Finally! What the hell happened? The last thing I remember after being up frozen and trying to stabilize the ship is the boat kind of blowing up in my face. And the next thing... And the next thing I know, we're on the planet, and there's a steel rod sticking out of my side, and I'm near to my seat. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I tried to put the ship down. You said we were on a planet, so we did land. You indulge yourself by calling this a landing. I see your helmet cam is on. What the hell are you doing in the corridor? I have no idea. I just woke up here a minute ago with something that feels like a really bad hangover. What's your situation? Recently. Listen, Powell. I can't move, so you'll have to get to me. Okay. I'll be there in a minute. Okay. It's the engineer's hibernation chamber. Looks like poor Johansson didn't make it. I should have a second look at him after I manage to open the chamber from the medical room. Pretty much bread dialogue, some of this. It's stuck. The computer must have tried to close it according to the atmosphere containment protocol when we crash landed. It, you can really... I hope the hull is intact. You can really hear that it's read off of a script. I mean... Wait, what did it say? It's a chromium alloy wrench. I bet it can unscrew just about anything with this. Or... You smash a control panel with it. I forgot that doll was here. It's empty. It's empty. Oh my god, it's empty! Okay. Let's take a look at Captain Novak. Wow, that does look nasty. You got that damn right. Listen. We need to get this rod out. The suit's mat hack has sealed my wound, but unfortunately, with the rod still inside, you need to remove it. Once it's out, the mat hack will seal the wounds again. Now I don't know if we have atmosphere or not, so you, so you will have to take care of the holes in the suit after you took the rod out, and for that you will. And for that, you will need some sort of self-hardening adhesive. I think we might have something in the cargo bay. My thoughts exactly. Hurry up with this, Ria. Oh, and everything shut down after the crash. So while you're at it, try to get the power back online and reboot the mainframe. A working computer would really help a lot. Now here's the thing. I'll get on it. I'll monitor your progress on the helmet cam. Radio me when you need assistance. I might be able to help you plan your next move. Thanks, Novak. That's Captain to you. <laughs> yeah, make me say it. Uh, just get to work. It's like, Captain Novak, while... Both consoles blew up. First Novak's, then mine. I got lucky, he didn't. Hope he makes it, though. I admit, I don't like him that much. But I don't want him to die either. My testament exactly. Now Novak is like he's very well voiced. Both consoles blew God, up. God, shut up! First Novak's, oh, well. then mine. I got lucky. He didn't. Hope he. The touch. That's the navigational. Com okay, they're dead. Okay, the thing is, the characters in this game are awesome. This guy we'll never see again. <laughs> I feel sorry for that guy. Seriously, I wouldn't want to.
No way that's in there. It's too dark up there. I wouldn't. The door is held. The panel doesn't have power. I need. I need to use something oh, with wait. power in it. Uh, we need the doll. That doesn't need screwing. I don't want to unscrew that. Okay, you just hang the doll on the panel. That's fine. It opens the door. Okay. You say uh, it's a Mercury Industries fuel cell. Standard issue United Nations Navy equipment. Just like a bunch of other stuff on a ship. It's empty. <laughs> Missing adhesive compartment for the glue gun. And Johansson must have dropped it bef between the two cabinets. And there's the nano glue gun. It's only missing the applicator head. And yes, that, or I mean, and no, but you can't use it for that. It's the main power conduit that channels power to the rest of the ship. It seems to be offline. It has a safety switch that shuts down the power going through it to prevent the user from getting electrocuted. The main panel got loose, and it activated the safety. Now, Powell is like bread. There, I have tightened the screws. Wait, that should have turned off the safety. Smack it. Power That's right. If you don't know what to do in this game, Warning. grab your wrench and smack it. I'm not joking. That works a lot of the time. Although a lot of the time it also causes problems. Uh... The right engine is shot to hell. Several cables seem to be loose. They must have been torn down when we crashed. And most conduits are fried. The middle engine looks fine from the outside, but you never know. We'll ultimately find out when we get off this rock. The ship has very little power, and the reactor is offline. I will need some extra power to start it up again. Hmm. Okay, now we got some basic power going. We'll open the first There's aid box. We'll this, get a this is syringe. I I know I'm. It's an access panel for the life support. But as that you can see, easy. This is like. This steel pipe is part of the. We're gonna need that later, actually. Uh, because we're gonna need a new oxygen scrubber. It's circulating the air. It's the touch panel for the medical. Gonna need a glass container as well. I'm just grabbing everything I can get right now. Uh, right. It's the engineer's hibernation. It's the engineer's hibernation. Okay. It's a universal adhesive that uses nanotechnology. I can't fill that up with nano glue. Not yet. We have to finish that first. Okay. It's the touch panel for the medical computer. All right, you have to turn that on from the uh, cockpit. Initiating bootstrap of. Finally, nice job, pal. Computer. It's Cause compromised due to an extreme gravitational anomaly. Specify source of anomaly. Shockwave progression analysis places source of anomaly on the second planet of the Beta Cygni system. Specify our current location. Beta Cygni 2. Looks like something pulled us down here. Right. Right. What? We'll have to worry about that later. Computer. Novak is the only one here that's not a moron. Main reactor offline. Engine 1 and 3 offline. Hibernation chambers 1 and 2 offline. Hibernation chamber 3 non functional. Hull breaches detected in cockpit, medical room, and cargo bay. Carbon dioxide concentration in ship exceeding toxic levels. Wow, that's all? Ah, uh, it's not as bad as it sounds. Yes, it is. No, listen, we might have a chance to get out of here after all. We still have one engine intact, and the thrusters seem to be working too. But you need to see what's wrong with the hibernation system and seal those breaches. Go and check the CO2 filter in the bedroom. It hurts like hell when I try to move, so I'll just stay here. But I'll try to scan the planet's surface to see if anyone lives here. Maybe they could help us. I'll try to reroute some power to the reactor, but I doubt there's enough energy to jumpstart it. Because without the reactor, we're not going anywhere. I'll let you know when I have something. No back out. Alright. Um... That's the now. The readout says the carbon dioxide level. Okay, now we know all that's happened. Okay, so we're gonna grab some stuff from this cargo base, cargo container. One firecraft. It's full of black thongs. Small red container. Don't even ask. Look here. 
Wait. It's full of black thongs. Don't even ask. I never knew what that was a reference to. It contains paintings of dogs playing poker done by aliens with seven tentacles. Don't look at these while you're intoxicated. You'd suffer permanent retina damage. Thank God I don't need any of them. The containers are block the containers are blocking the way to the back of the cargo bay. They must have fallen down during no use climbing it. The upper walkway is blocked as well. One firecracker will be enough, I think. Okay, um Okay, let's check this one. The small red container. This thing contains an item that you will never use. Fucking camera. Uh, it contains an item you will never use, and it's a red herring! No, seriously, you know when the trail's gone cold and you're given a false clue? It's a red herring? This is a red herring? Ah! It's a useless item. It's never used in the game for anything, the and... It's a universal adhesive. Okay, we're just have to find the applicator head. It's the we have to open that from the medical bay. Now we've got the computer started, we can do that. It's a status report on the hibernation chambers. It says there's a malfunction in one of them. If we can't fix the hibernation system, there's no point in taking off. That one year route to the nearest starbase sure would be boring. Opening hibernation chamber three. Okay, now this is pretty fucked up here. How the fuck? How, what would be the worst way to die? Suffocation? Drown? Suffocation? Getting beheaded? Bleeding to death? How about being half fucking frozen? He's dead. The computer must have malfunctioned as he was trying to get out of the half opened hibernation chamber. It's frozen half of him. The left half, to be precise. Not a good way to go. Ew! That is disturbing to say the least. I can see something inside the drain, but I can't reach it with my fingers because it's too... I should take a sample of that and try to figure out what's wrong with the hibernation system. Nope. That's why we got the cup, by the way. It's so that we can uh, figure out what the hell's wrong with that. I already know what's wrong I with it because I have already... inside the drain. Can we just grab it? Can't, I can't reach it. Uh, steel pipe, maybe? I can't reach it. Oh, uh, you have to get a kink on something. Uh... That sounds so bad. Alright, uh, you have to fill this syringe with a bit of nano glue. Uh, this is what you use to patch up Novak's suit. There you go, that's the steel rod I need. Uh, we will take the wrench and the. S I don't want to unscrew that. Okay. Guess not. Uh,. I move the containers out of the way with the steel rod. But in here, there's a cargo, there's a gas mask, and a can of beer! Probably left here by the loading crew on uh, Starbase Wendigo. It's from a country with lots of... Umlauts! <laughs> I bet it's German. <laughs> uh, when you don't know what it is, it's probably German. Okay, we'll pour the I beer in there, the beer and we it. will fish out the applicator head for the PX-11. Uh, why the fuck he had this with him when he was in hibernation, I will never know. Okay, we will apply... Apply. Okay, now we have our glue gun. This is gonna come in handy a few times. Uh, you may see that I'm rushing through this more or less. Analyzing sample. Please stand by. That's because I don't no want this to take too, too long. Sample. Did you get that, Novak? Yeah, it looks like the nutritional fluid is shot to hell. Everything's shot to hell. Like, nothing's just destroyed or damaged. It's just shot Have to you hell. Seen all the sand out there? I doubt there's anything living on this rock. I did see some green spots, though, as we were spiraling down to what I thought would be our fiery deaths. That doesn't really help us, you know. However, I've been able to scan the surface, and I found another vessel that has crashed. It's not too far. Were they caught in the same crap we were? How am I supposed to know? I don't even know when they crashed. I detected no life signs, so it must have been a while ago. Anyhow, you'll have to visit that other ship. Oh crap. Indeed. And the icing on the cake is that I've been unable to jumpstart the reactor. There's just not enough juice. Plus the computer said that the plasma injector is fried in engine 2. Damn, it looked like it was okay. The good news is that the other ship is emitting a standard military distress call. 
So it's probably a military ship, which means compatible parts for us. I never thought that one day I'd actually appreciate your enthusiasm for all things military. Told you, didn't I? Anyways, see if you can find some replacement for the hibernation fluid and the spare injector for the engine. But we'll need some extra power, so take that time to fuel cell from engineering with you, if you haven't already. Is that all? And get me a cheeseburger while you're at it. There it is. Okay. Pal out. Large fries. Pal out. <laughs> Just enough. Diet cola. Knock it off, you lousy wounded on purpose so he doesn't have to do a thing, son of a drill sergeant. I heard that. I know. Now let me get to work. <laughs> it's a status report on the hibernation chambers. Johansson's answer to Novak's high-tech geekiness. With all the shiny new touch panels and advanced AI, our late engineer still liked to work the old-fashioned way. Love the keyboard. It's circulating the air. Oh my god, we, stop it! I don't want to put that into the blades. Oh yeah, I have to turn off the fan somewhere. Oh yeah, uh... This is where I found just what I was afraid of. The whole... I will need some sort of putty or adhesive to fix oh, this. Oh, I never filled it up. <laughs> uh, ugh. Are we sure we shouldn't just, like, get rid of him first? Because, you know, he's kind of stinking up the place. Okay, we now have that load of nano glue. Uh, I know there is a hull bridge down here somewhere. It's empty. It's a half-ton steel door. The only way to open it is to use the control panel. The control panel that opens the rear loading door is acting up. The circuit must have... I can't use that to override the circuit. Darn. Oh yeah, you need an actual like piece of wire or something for that. Um, but, 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 what the fuck am I thinking with? I just loaded up the glue gun. Let's go fix that breach. God damn it. The breach has... The breach has been sealed. There's a small fracture underneath the console. Okay, let's... Glue shit. The glue has sealed the breach almost instantly. If we only had that good glue. Alright, we will turn off it the turned, ventilator. And yes, you actually... It's a touchscreen, so you actually touch the option. It would be too early to turn it on, since the reactor is offline. Uh, okay, we will go back up here. Now we turn off the ventilator. Ooh. It's not useless as a filter. It's filled with carbon. Okay, um... That doesn't need wrapping into insulation foil. That makes no sense. Chill out, bro. <laughs> Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Okay, um... <sighs> Man, I don't remember where the last hull bridge were. Um, the ship has very little power, and the reactor is all. Okay, the thing is, you can access your radio. Try to disassemble the tubing at Johansson's chamber. Ah, there we go. It's the tube that supplies the chamber. I have unscrewed the. I already have some of the fluid. I already had some of the fluid. There we go. That's the adapter tube. That's what you needed for that. Then you do that, and then you do that, and there you go. And now we have a makeshift CO2 filter. I've taken out the old filter. I'll have to find a replacement somehow, but I'm almost sure I won't find a spare part on the ship. I might have to rig something together from what I do find. The gas mask will serve as a temporary CO2 filter. I'll just have to turn the... The readout says that the CO2 levels are starting to normalize throughout the ship. That's a very, very, very quick... <laughs> but anyway, we got that the CO2 filter fixed. Um, okay, okay, okay. We will have to find the last hull bridge. I don't remember the fuck it was. Fuck. No use. The control panel that opens the rear loading door is acting up. The circuit must have been overloaded. I can't use that to override. Can I the slap circuit. a herring on it? I can't use that to override Darn. the circuit. Screw that. I can't use that to override the circuit. 
Okay. Pick up anything you can. Oh god damn it, I'm such a moron. I forgot there's a bunch of wires in there. Okay. I'm an idiot. Slap me with a herring, will ya? I have overridden the controls. I still have a couple of things to do here before I venture out into the desert. Ah, here we go. There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. Hull breach. The nano glue has perfectly sealed the breach. The breach is sealed. There we go. This is Novak. I see you're about to go out into the desert. Now listen, try to take care of yourself. You're my only chance of getting off this planet alive. I appreciate your honesty. Now, do you have anything to say, or did you just call to piss me off? Just a recap of what we need. A full energy cell and a spare injector for the reactor, plus some sort of replacement for the nutritional fluid of the hibernation system. I knew all that. You really do like to play captain, don't you? I don't have to play it. I am the captain. Okay. I uploaded the coordinates of that other ship to your suit, plus the data from some terrain scans that the computer took before we crashed. Okay, thanks. I'll get back to you when I have something. Pal out. Oh, okay. Now you can get a look at the ship. The Morning Star is pretty darn big. We have to go to the desert, and we can go to the military cruiser wreck. I don't want to wander around aimlessly in the desert. That's our ship. We're gonna end up with with a waypoint over here and one over here. First, we'll go to Pow the Nova. Oh wait, yeah, end up here. Yes. What is it? What is it? Are these coordinates right? I don't see any shipwreck here. No, you're still several clicks off. Clicks, my ass. Where am I then? Hang on, I'll check the terrain data. Uh huh. It looks like there's a deep gorge, several miles long, running through the desert. You'll have to get across it to reach that ship. Yeah, I know that Can much. Can I go around? Nah, that would take days. Try to find a path that's not too deep, or build a bridge for all I care. Just get across. Easy for you to say. Alright. Just take a look at it. Maybe As you can see, something. somebody's already been here and built the we'll bridge do. at some point. Will do. Now we can't take a look at that, but we can! I'm almost certain this is not a naturally occurring phenomenon. They seem to be made out of some smooth stone, stand about twice as tall as me, and they look really creepy. Thank God they don't have eyes. I'm almost certain this okay. is not a nat- We found spray-on insecticide used by the military. It says it contains sulfur. Okay, we have a box full of carbon. It's a massive a stone giant pillar. giant stone pillar. If my eyes don't betray me, it's slightly taller than the distance between the two sides of the gorge. Several stones are loose at the bottom of it, on the side facing the gorge. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? It looks like the sand contains high concentrations of salt, Peter. How convenient! We have an insecticide containing immense quantities of sulfur. We have the ground containing immense quantities of saltpeter, and we got a tube full of carbon. If I'm gonna mix that with something, I'll need to pick it up first. Ah, or potassium nitrate. Meh. Needs a match and some distance from me. I don't want to light that on fire. Fuck no, Lixon. I don't want to bother them. They're spooky. They are spooky. I've placed the CO2 filter with the gunpowder in it at the base of the pillar, deep in the sand. And then I packed it down with several large boulders. I don't want to bother them. They're spooky. They are spooky. Wow, that was something. That's the only really good piece of voice acting I've heard in this game. Okay, now we have a bridge across, so now we can get across here. It looks like someone tried to build a bridge here. It's unclear whether they succeeded before it was destroyed. The pylon's a bit loose, but I think it can hold my weight if I can use something thin to descend. This one already has the remains of the bridge tied to it. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't go down on the ledge on this. Okay, now that we're done with this, we can continue into the desert and continue to the cruiser wreck. Powder Novak, are you seeing this? Yep, looks bad. It seems to have been ripped apart. 
It's possible that they were caught in the same gravitational disturbance as we. But this looks like a Taurus-class cruiser, the big sister of our morning star. Now listen. We were very conveniently neglecting that gravitational anomaly that got us here in the first place. Did you scan for it? Yep, but the computer is unable to pinpoint its location. All we know that it's somewhere on this planet, and we need to get rid of it in order to take off. Otherwise, we'd be doing this all over again. Got that. I'll take a look around inside. Maybe I can find out what happened to these people. I am very much frustrated at this. There's a lot of dialogue here. We should look at the skeleton. Oh, Mendez Simon! Simon? It's Simon Mendez. Simon Mendez. Okay, here's, as you can see, a lot of sand. Oh, energy cable. Decent amount of weight. That's the thing we're gonna use to descend down into the valley. Ba I don't wanna go back there. No. Too spooky for me! It's a so-called micro-lock. Works without electricity, on a molecular level. Very hard to hack. I'll need the original pass card to get in there. There's a particle rifle inside. That's a Chuck. The CH, CHK-9 particle rifle, commonly referred to as Chuck. It's almost completely depleted. It has one more shot left. Better not waste it. Okay. As I said, it gets in everywhere. Now, the thing is, you'll get a ref reference to that if you, uh, a further reference to that if you just, uh... It's a so-called, it's a so-called micro-lock. Works without electricity. I can't open the lock. I can't open the lock Oh yeah, that. it's a door down, oh yeah. Uh... I don't want to go back there. Right, you need a flare or something to go back there. Ah, oh, there we go. There it is. The door is stuck. The control panel has no power. Fuck you and your power! The door is stuck. I think it's the hydraulics. Let's lever it. I managed to force the door open with the rod. Without the hydraulics holding it in place, it was relatively easy. Okay, we can always see that the left end has still got some power. I mean, it's glowing and everything. Ew! Standard memory card, it goes into the reader of any military suit, holds all kinds of information like missing da mission data and voice recordings. Okay, okay, okay. That? It's Habib's log. <laughs> I love that. I love the fact that this guy's called Habib. Uh, it, it's like, it's just, it's just, this is just, it just makes the crew on these ships so much more human that they have all these strange names. Like, it's strange and strange, I mean, they have all these foreign names, and it's just, it, it's Mendes and Habib, <laughs> Mendes and Habib. I do believe they were friends in this game, actually. You and a sergeant drone crash landing on, on second planet of Beta Cygni. Computer damage beyond repair, all data lost. Our ship is lost. Captain Moranis has sent out two away teams to scout the terrain for possible refugees. Um, for possible refuge. Uh, scout Team Alpha reports having encountered something they appear they refer to as strange stone heads. The captain has left a wreck with the remainder of the crew towards the location of Team Beta. I remain here to put together a working generator from cannibalized parts of the Armstrong. Ensign Mendes, stand guard. The captain and his team have set up a camp. The coordinates are attached to this recording. The captain hasn't reported back. Uh, Mendes has just radioed for help. I'm going to investigate. Mendes dead. Someone or something moved his removed his suit but left his corpse here. I'm going back to engineering and I'm locking myself in. The reactor is emitting strong radiation. I'm too afraid to go out. Radiation still rising. And obviously he died from radiation poisoning. It's an access panel to the engine. No. I have unscrewed the screws and opened. Okay, it's a plasma injector. I hope it's the same type as the one that broke down in our ship. It's got a pla it has a plasma buffer that still contains a little plasma. He has nothing more on him. I took everything I need. He has nothing more what? on him. What that's a corpse? <laughs> Alright. I like how you can barely make it the reactor there. Alright. Um ah. Keep spinning my, my chair legs keep spinning. Alright, uh we got basically everything we can get right now. 
We're going into the desert, and we're going to this camp here. Its lid is all bent up and crooked. It looks like it took a sh I can't use that to pry the lid open. Uh... Alright. Alright, we need to... Yeah, we need to get a piece of the 10th frame. Okay, we're gonna check that in a minute. He has nothing else on him. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nope. The containers at the back are empty. They must have unpacked everything before the attack. Nothing there. It's broken beyond repair. I have no use for it. It's a grave. The rifle on the headstone is useless. It might be a good idea to dig it up, but with my bare hands, it could take hours. Yeah, so we're gonna have to make a shovel of Creepy as always, as if it was standing guard. But I'm sure that's just my imagination running wild. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, that's Habib's log. Russell's log. Let's check his log. Okay, you have to read them because they give you waypoints and little hints to what to do. We were ambushed by an unident. We were under attack. We were ambushed by an unidentified fighter. It looked like some sort of fighter death. One casualty. We buried Sung. We are taking defensive positions. Incoming fighters again. This time there's more of them. This won't be easy. Fighter jets of some kind. Creepy as always. As if it was standing guard. But I'm sure that's just my imagination right now. Okay, shall we slap a red herring on it? I better leave it alone. Let's not slap red herrings on it. Okay, um... I remember there was something you could do around here. It was like a random rock somewhere. I don't. That doesn't help me with the digging. <laughs> like it's like he's casually gonna dig up a grave. <laughs> Just you know, casually. Um. In that box, there's a radio, but we need like. Oh right. Uh, we need to go to the desert. We need to go to the gorge. I believe. Huh. I don't remember exactly how the fuck this worked. It looks like someone oh, yeah. tried to build a bridge. Whatever I... I have tied the inner... The cable is tied firmly to the pylon. I can now rappel down. But the cable's only long enough to get me down to... Okay, we're down at the ledge below. Portable shovel head. He has nothing else on it. There... A bunch of copper wire. I think they use this to detonate stuff from a distance. I have enough wire. Grab all the wire. And then... We'll do steel pipe, shovel head, shovel, can you dig it? <laughs> so bad! Alright, um... I don't want to throw that down there. Oh, look, his head was crushed. Oh, wonderful. I don't want to tie the rope to that. I don't want to throw that down there. Climb up. Okay, we'll tie a rope. I guess from up here. Whatever I do, I don't want to use that on the pylon. Okay, whatever. Uh, we will go back to our there's a sat map. We will go to the camp. We will go back here. We will dig up the grave. I have dug up its. Br oh, taser. Uh, shoots two electrodes at the victim, then electrocutes them. This one's an older type, uses two wire transits to transfer high voltage. He has nothing else on him. I don't want to attach the pole to that. That doesn't need spare electronic parts. It's a broken PDA. The memory card is destroyed. I might be able to use it for spare parts, though. Yeah, I don't exactly remember. Oh, wait, hang on. Can I bend that on something? I don't think so. He has no use for that. Uh, you never know. I don't remember how the fuck to do this, though. Okay, well, you know what? Well, oh, yeah, you need the Buddha statue. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? There's the Coulter. It's empty now. Didn't we get two memory cards? No, we didn't. Okay, so we're gonna get the Buddha. 
Or I'm gonna smash the steel rod with it to get a bend. Yes, that that's what Buddha's good for, smashing steel rods. That was highly offensive, and I'm sorry for that. Um, no, but seriously. Can't use that. We have to, if we made a crowbar. Broken walkie-talkie. When I turn it on, it makes crackling sounds. Okay, let's repair it. I've cannibalized some parts on the PDA and the, uh, and the radio and made a handheld scanner. But its range is only a few feet. Alright, let's increase its range. I can pick up beacon signals within a few miles with this. That was a significant increase for just adding a stick to it. Okay, now what do you do with this? I've located a distress beacon at that small crater. There you go. Now, before we go there, we're gonna take this picture frame. And we're gonna mix it up with copper wire. I have coiled up copper wire around the two sides of the picture frame into a neat transformer. There's hundreds of these things. I think this is the point where we ought to start worrying about our situation. Yeah, when you see this many stone heads in the same place, they're not there as tribute anymore. Oh! <laughs> Poor guy. Daryl Vincent. This is the exact place the distress beacon is sending its signals from. Besides that... Military to detonate doors inwards. There's nothing else I can use here. These parts came from a metal structure or device. They have hardly any damage on them. Okay. Too short. If I used it like this, I would blow up too. Okay. So we need some sort of remote detonator, like... I don't know when egg timer should work. We'll go to sat map and we'll go back to the UN, UNS Armstrong. Uh, we will go back to lockers. Oh, Daryl. How convenient. Oh, a plasma flare. There's nothing else. There's nothing else hmm. there. What can we do with that? I wonder. Ready to go. Go into the gorge. We'll go across. We'll go down, and we will ignite this fucker and throw it down. Yes, that would help me see down there, but I still have no way to descend safely. Oh, right. Derp. There we go. I have tied the rope around the boulder. I've activated the pla- Okay, let's go down to the bottom. Great. All the rope I want, now that I don't need it anymore. It's glowing nice and red. Oh, let's check out another corpse. Countdown feature. When it times out, the green light comes on. He had nothing else on him. Okay, let's... Hmm... Not attach the death layer. I can start to count on any time I want. Any time! That was so bad. Uh... This door is big, and made of metal. But I'm starting to hope I'm wrong and it's not really a door, because I sure wouldn't want to meet the people who use it. I have successfully imploded the entry to this... whatever it is. I'll find out soon. Right -o. Novak, this is Pal. Do you read? Big ass structure of metal. Up a bit, but I hear you. Might be on to something. I found a large structure with some sort of generator inside. It's huge, and it's making me feel dizzy, literally. Something's wrong with the gravity in here. I think this might be the source of the anomaly. An immense gravity well or, or something. I've been continually scanning the surface for hours, and I found nothing. I think the scale on which this baby operates is way off our sensor's capacity. It's like trying to measure the height of a tsunami wave with a ruler. But I think I know a way to confirm it. Can you calculate the UNS Armstrong's descent vector? Hang on. Yes, got it. But it's not very accurate, mind you. And we have the coordinates of the point where the anomaly altered our trajectory, right? Make a line between my current position and our deviation point. Does the Armstrong's trajectory pass through that line? Just a second. Yes, it does. Ah, I see now. 
This gravitational thing is confined like a tunnel, and both we and the Armstrong went through it. I think we might just skimmed it, but they got torn right in half. Listen, I'll plot a safe course and set up the autopilot to get us out of here. Both of our consoles are destroyed, so no chance flying the ship manually, but the computer will take us out. I bet now you appreciate that fancy new AI I had installed. <laughs> Plot that course, and I'll get back to you as soon as I have the power cell plus the hibernation fluid. And I'll disable this gravity generator just in case our tunnel theory is wrong. Hope these weird stone heads won't mind. They look creepier and creepier. Actually, they look just like you, Novak. <laughs> just shut up and get to work. I'll set up the autopilot. You'll need to activate it on the navigational panel when you get back. Deal. Pal out. Okay. Now that we have that. Okay, that never happened before, and it creeped the hell out of me. Oh, wait. It looks like a big red button in the middle of some dials. I pushed it, but nothing happened. There's hundreds of them. I wouldn't know which one to inspect, but I'm sure there's a way to f Wow, there are hundreds of them. Each one holds a specimen of a different species. Okay, we get what's happening over there. Now, here's the thing. We have to find our solar system. And here we have it. This is our solar system. That thing... chamber has opened it. Oh, and on this we have that. I've had enough skeletons for one day, thank you. Besides, it disassembled suit. It goes into the reader of any military suits. Okay, here's the captain's log, essentially. This essentially tells me. They are preparing to remove my suit. I hope the air is breathable here. Once I'm out, I'll try to escape. Did I say this again? This might be my my last cuts out. Okay. Um, I've already read all this like a bajillion fucking times, so I'm not really all that interested. Now here's the problem: the lonely planet. He said. We have to find a star system with only one planet. Here we go, CTM. That one had a very remem very easy to remember code. A chain. And here we have the. It's a green goo that looks exactly like our hibernation fluid, only a lot thicker. Now full of the green goo. This device looks almost identical to the one in the generator room, only this one is about a hundred times smaller. It has some markings on it, and there's still some green goo left underneath it. Hmm. I think I'm gonna call that a and -L. Oh my god. So bad. Darn. It looks like a... Nothing happened. Maybe I should enter the right. Nothing happened. Maybe I should enter the right code first. The right code first. Maybe I should enter the right code first. Wow. All right. Uh. Yeah, that's it. Maybe it's the other way around. Oh yeah, it was L and A. You have to enter it in reverse. Nothing happened. Oh. Nothing happened. Maybe I. Oh. Nothing happened. Maybe I should enter the right code first. 
Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Maybe I should enter the right code first. Fuck. This is where the immense gravitational field is created. I guess it's heavily shielded, but I can still feel its vibration. I'll need to shut it down before we take off. The power is still on. I would get electric. Okay, here's the problem. You get all of your clues from this room, and I don't remember. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Nothing happened. Maybe I should end I keep fucking up. Oh, push the wrong button. to turn off the generator. The it seems to be supplying the console with power. The transformer is now attached to the end of that power cable. Okay, let's go to fuel cell. I have connected the empty fuel cell. The generator is running again. I'd better turn off the... I have turned off... Once you got this... really not that bad. Fucking... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'd better leave it alone. Wait, what was it more? Before we leave, make sure to disable that alien generator, so this The turbine has stopped ro That won't affect the turbine at all. That's not gonna shut down the reactor. Oh yeah, and then you do the... That, that, that... God damn it. Is it? Damn it! A N L A N L N T. I have turned off the gravity well. The crystal lowered itself from the generator. The command I entered must be used to perform maintenance on the machine. That shot took out the crystal. That wasn't here before. Wow, I didn't expect that. Or that. I'd better get the hell out of here. Okay, now he basically runs from the ship or to from this place to the ship you can see all the different locations it's not that long of a game but it's not super short either if you know what you're doing you can get through this in just a few minutes if you just skip all the dialogue I listen to most of it so okay let's enter the ship back up go up here uh, get to this desk. Put some fluid. Analysis of sample confirms positive match for hibernation fluid nutrients. Did you hear that, Novak? We can use this stuff to recultivate the nutritional fluid in the hibernation system. Sounds great. Keep at it. We're almost out of here. Um. Right. We will need. The new plasma injector? I have replaced the faulty plasma injector in the engine. Crap. I have installed the fuel cell. The reactor is ready to kick in. And... We are ready to go. We are ready to take off. We have defeated, we have...
completed this game. the end of the game and yes it has saving and loading features because this game is quite difficult to figure out when you first start it so that's about that an hour 21 minutes yep well I guess I'll just upload this raw footage so yeah